Hi there. Now for the second part, part B of this question, we've got to find the perimeter of the garden, giving your answer in metres to one decimal place. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all then, I'm going to consider working out the length AE. We're missing that at the moment and I can do that from the triangle AEB just by using the cosine rule. I've got two sides to my triangle, 23 meters and 12 meters, and the included angle, 0.64 radians. So assuming that you're familiar with the cosine rule, what I'm going to do then is consider triangle ABE, okay, just put a note there, and use the cosine rule. So for the cosine rule, what we've got is AE, AE squared, is going to equal the sum of the squares of the other two sides, so that's going to be 23 squared plus 12 squared, and then we subtract twice the product of these two sides, so that would be 2 times 23 times 12, and then it's multiplied by the cosine of the opposite angle to the side AE, which is 0.64 radians. Okay. Now you've got to work in radians mode on your calculator, so if you do that you should find you get 230.2431 and so on. So to get AE, therefore AE, we need to square root both sides and so we end up with AE equaling the root then of 230.2431 and so on. And if you take the square root of this, we only need the positive value because it is a length, so it's 15.1737 and so on. And that will be measured in metres. So that's our length then for AE. The next length we need to get is the arc length round here, EDC. So in order to get that I need this angle in here which is going to be pi radians for half a turn, pi radians minus 0.64 radians. And that comes to 2.5 5015 and so on. Okay, that be measured in radians. Just put rad there. Okay, for short. So looking then at the arc length, let's just put it in here an intro arc length. Okay, we'll say CDE. Remember this arc length around here is going to be a fraction of the circumference of the whole circle. That fraction would be the angle, 2.5015 and so on, compared with or out of a full turn of 2 pi radians. So it's this fraction of the circumference. The circumference is 2 pi r. So it's 2 pi times the radius, which was 12. And for this, you can cancel out the two pi's, and you get the well-known formula if you went straight there. That is, when you're working in radians, it is theta, if you like, the angle, times the radius, theta r. So working this out, okay, you don't need to be in radians mode to do this calculation. You should find you get 30.0191 and so on, and that will be measured in metres. So we just need to come together now and work out the perimeter. So I'm going to say therefore the perimeter, okay, perimeter equals, well, we've got the length AE, 15.1737 and so on. To this we'll add the arc length, that's 30.0191 and so on. And then you've got the 12 and the 23, so plus 12 
and plus 23. And adding this up gives a total of 80.1928 and so on. And we're asked to give this to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, this is going to be 80.2. 80.2 meters then to one decimal place, one DP.